Uh, next is about instruction execution and straight line sequencing. Uh, suppose our processor want to execute a program which is present in this memory location and this program will start at a location of 5. Okay, so uh, in order to start the execution of this program, uh, we need to check the content of program counter. Initially, the program counter register hold the address this one. I indicate the start of this program. So, processor fetch instruction from memory location I and place the content that is this instruction in the instruction register. Okay and start the decoding and identify what are the operands and what the operation we want to perform and suppose the operand indicated memory location and fetch the uh, value from that particular memory location and also take the value from the uh, appropriate register then perform the operation during this execution state of this first instruction the processor counter automatically incremented to point the next instruction instruction that means now during the execution the program counter automatically incremented from this i and pointing i plus 4 so after completing completing the execution of this one the processor can take uh, the instruction which is present at a location i plus 4 so in sequential execution during the execution of each instruction, the program counter automatically incremented to point to the next instruction present after that currently executing instruction. Okay, it is easy for the program counter can automatically increment to point next instruction present in the program counter. Okay, uh, but there is another situation like branch. What is this? instead of using a list of uh, certain instruction sequentially in our program we can add certain um, looping statements in our program suppose we want to add n numbers find the sum of uh, n numbers uh, we can represent the program like this move the value present at a memory location number one here to register r0 then um, add the value present at number 2 second location with the content of r0 r0 already contains the value from the memory location number 1 then store the resultant in value resultant value in r0 then after that execute this third instruction take the value from uh, number 3 memory location and add the value with r0 and and uh, like that perform all the addition in a sequential order in such situation the program counter initially point the ith address location and completing um, the instruct execution of this first instruction the processor can take the next instruction for the execution um, how it possible the uh, program counter automatically incremented during the execution of this one instruction the program counter automatically incremented to point the next instruction here we can increment or here the program counter increment automatically in a sequential order to point next instruction one after another but no need to represent all such n addition statement in sequence we can use like a um, looping statement in our program such a way that we can reduce the n addition statement present in our program we need to represent a single uh, to a single uh, loop body here which contains some two or three instruction for fetching uh, next next numbers and adding the number with previous added resultant value okay here move n comma r1 this means set the count of numbers how many number we want to add this count value place in a register r1 then clear a register r0 then here we have a loop body this contains instructions like uh, finding uh, address of next number and adding that number with previous added result value okay so after each addition decrement the count by one then check if the count is zero or not the count becomes zero means we have already added all the numbers 
and get the result value in a register R0. If this uh, result value or this decremented value R1 and if check the value of R1, if it is not 0 person meaning we want to add some more numbers to complete this addition process. Okay. In case of this branch greater than 0, if this condition is true, in such a situation we need to move to the location which is labeled as loop uh, in order to continue the loop body again. So such a situation where our program counter point to indicate for the next instruction uh, the processor want to execute. How it possible in case of if this branching condition is true in such situation while executing this particular instruction the program counter want to point this particular loop in order uh, loop uh, address location in order to indicate the processor want to execute this particular code next then uh, suppose this condition is failed or whenever this condition is violated um, in such situation the program counter automatically jump to uh, point this particular instruction what is the meaning the condition become fails then the processor want to execute this instruction next okay so uh, for supporting such branching or conditional statements we have some single bit of informations we have used some single bits of information and call it as conditional code flags these are some uh, code flags which are commonly uh, used for supporting such conditional statement they are sign or negative flag this flag can store either 0 or 1 value when this sign flag become 1 uh, after uh, some arithmetical or conditional operation if the value or the result become 0 uh, sorry result become negative then the sign flag get value 1 if the result is a positive number then the sign flag stores a value of 0 and this is a 0 flag which it can also store a single bit of information and what is the meaning after the uh, execution of certain arithmetic uh, or logical instruction if the result is 0 then the 0 flag set a value 1 otherwise the 0 flag hold a, hold a value 0 this overflow flag it can also store single bit of information which always indicates the condition of overflow whenever uh, we want to store the result of certain arithmetic operation and uh, if the resultant value exceeds the allotted word length in order to store such a result in value if the result exceeds the allotted or uh, word size such situation this overflow flag set a value 1 if uh, the result value is properly fit in our allotted memory word then the overflow flag contains a value 0 this carry flag this carry flag become 1 if certain arithmetic operations like addition generate a carry value okay if the addition does not generate a, a carry value then such carry flag hold a value c these types of conditional flag informations are used for supporting the uh, this type of branching instruction okay uh, this branching instruction how can we uh, take a decision while executing this branch instruction during the execution of this branching instruction here we check the value of two flag flags that is uh, sign flag and zero flag if branch greater than zero that means the value of r1 is not equal to zero so we can check the value of sign flag and zero flag if sign flag is not equal to zero and zero flag is not equal to zero now the branch target become this that means we want to jump here and start the execution from here in such situation the program counter hold the value of this loop during the execution or after completing the execution the program counter hold the value of this loop that means after this branching the branch target become this loop 
suppose this condition get violated that means the r1 value become zero in such situation the program counter point this one that's a mean, what's the meaning after completing this instruction we want to move here and execute this one sequentially okay so in order to support this type of conditional statement we can use the values present in certain conditional flag state flag uh, registers okay